Hello, adventurers, travelers, and friends, and welcome back to a Backworthy Adventures video. I'm your host, Rose, and today we're taking a quick trip from Miami down to John Pennicap Coral Reef. John Pennacamp Coral Reef State Park is approximately 70 nautical square miles of gorgeous underwater marine life. Corals, sea, beautiful turquoise waters, it's amazing. Now I went to John Pennacamp once before to go camping, they have a little campground in the National Park area, but this time I went on a little day trip on a boat out into the waters to go snorkeling and I highly recommend it. To get to the John Pennacamp Coral Reef State Park, it's about a, a little over an hour drive from Miami and a little over two hours of a drive from Key West. So pretty good day trip from either spot to come down there. Now, when I went, I went with the um, Key Divers and it was just $44.95 for a boat tour. All my snorkel gear was included. They got you out to the areas and they were there to keep you safe. They were also amazing to work with. We even accidentally lost our hat in the wind and they turned the boat around to go get the hat. That's how attentive these people were. So I know if you're in trouble, they're gonna be able to swim out there and save you. Now, if you book with them, they usually have tours around noon. So you have to get there around 11.30 to check in and then the boat leaves around 12.15. They typically want you to meet at the marina, but they also have a store too if you wanna check that out. Once you get to the marina, you get on the boat and you get on your way and you are spending four hours out in the waters. They usually take you to two snorkel spots. Now, the reason that people tend to want to go on these snorkel tours is for Touchdown Jesus. So he's called that because he has his hands up like this, you know, like, touchdown! Um, but it's an underwater statue that you can swim around. It's got coral all over it. It's gorgeous but they also have to determine whether it's safe to get there. So uh, the weather really changes whether the tours are happening and they'll call you beforehand if the tour won't be able to happen, which is what occurred on our first try up to go on this tour when we were camping in John Pennicamp State Park. But on our second try, it was a gorgeous sunny day, so we got to go out. It's a relatively long ride at first, or it feels that way, because you really want to get out there and get snorkeling. But it was about 50 minutes from when we got on the boat to when we got to our first snorkel spot. You get to enjoy the weather, sit out, they, can let, they let you sit out on the front, on the sides, you can even come up where the captain is, and spend some time just enjoying the breeze and looking out at the turquoise waters all around you. Now, if you do get seasick like I do, I would recommend taking a Dramamine the night before that allows it to settle into your system but not make you as tired as when you take it right away. What I actually did was took a half Dramamine the night before and then the other half right before we left on the tour. Dramamine usually takes 30 minutes to set in for my body, um, but you know yourself, you know your own body, and make sure to read the label on the Dramamine bottle so that you know whether it's safe for you to take. So I'll show you some footage of what it was like to go on this wonderful day trip and all the things that I was able to see while I was there, including Touchdown Jesus and the first snorkel spot. I don't Thank you. 
Once we were done with our snorkels in these two beautiful locations, we got back on the boat for the long trek home. This trek though was so relaxing. I actually ended up passing out in the front, just falling asleep, and I was woken up to the sound of everyone yelling, dolphins, because there were dolphins on our way back. Now, obviously I can't tell you whether you'll see dolphins on your way back, but there are dolphins in Florida. I've seen them on jet ski tours and boat tours, and it's always so amazing to spot them wherever you are. Once we docked, uh, they gave us the code for a bathroom right there in the marina, and the bathroom had showers, which is perfect when you're doing this for something like a day trip, because you can easily rinse yourself off and feel comfortable for your drive back home. Now, before you start that drive, I would recommend heading down to the Blonde Giraffe Key Lime Pie Factory. It has an awesome key lime pie, um, and it has one that they dip in chocolate like a popsicle, which is quite tasty. Um, I did a whole video on all the key lime pies in Key West, and in the keys in general, um, I tried, I think, seven different ones in one weekend, and the Blonde Giraffe rated pretty high. You can check out that video as well, um, especially if you're going to be in Key West. I think there were five of them down there that I tried. Um, so you might want to check that out if you're going to be in that area. I hope that this video helps you determine whether you want to go to John Pennekamp Coral Reef State Park. If you like videos like this, where you get to learn information about interesting places around the world that you might want to travel to so that you can better plan your next adventure, feel free to subscribe down below. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Bye, travelers!